After UCLA's big home opener win against Washington Thursday night, Coach Andy Banachowski acknowledged that the Bruins' excitement could pose some problems in the next night's matchup against Washington State. Turns out Banachowski's prediction was on the mark. Though the third-ranked Bruins did pull off a win against the Cougars on Friday night, it took four tough games to ensure that UCLA's undefeated record remained intact against a team that had not yet recorded a win in Pac-10 play. Well, we just had the attitude that we were going to win and uh, we didn't really want to work very hard to, to win and so it was uh, I was disappointed with our, our level of intensity in, in our performance tonight. We'll be working on uh, serving. Uh, we, ma we made a lot of serving errors tonight. Though Katie Carter and Nana Merriweather continued their great play with 16 and 15 kills respectively, both realized that something was missing on the court. It was just a little uh, divided. Not everyone was really playing together, and um, we definitely had to work at that to pull out the win. Our position right now is really unique. We're at a really, you know, top position. So every team we play is going to come out really strong against us, and we just have to expect that more and not underestimate any other team. Among the highlights was the return of Becky Merring to the Bruins' starting lineup. Merring, who took last season off after getting married and giving birth to a son, delivered an impressive nine kills to help the Bruins to victory. Maring says she was happy just to be back on the court. It's just good to be playing again and be back on the team with all my really good friends. Just being active, it's just, oh, it feels so good. The Bruins look to extend their Pac-10 record to 5-0 when they play Arizona and Tucson next weekend. For Daily Bruin TV, this is Courtney Bowman.